as useful as it is to link spreadsheets or workbooks, it has a significant risk. So what we've got here is here are two workbooks and they link together. These are the hours worked by various types of engineers and this spreadsheet contains the rate. So the formula here is saying the number of hours multiplied by the rate worked and you can see that principal structural engineer is matching to that one and the structural engineer is correctly matching to their rate per hour. You need to be very careful about any adjustments you make to the spreadsheets that are linked. So for example, I'm just going to close this one down. If someone comes here and realizes they forgot an engineer, and they insert here and they put a new engineer in, and let's make this one 199. So it's close, but not the same. Let's open up that other file. And what you'll notice is that suddenly this structural engineer, the numbers don't make sense. And that's because Excel's taking the five hours and it's looking at cell G12. Because when this was closed, you told it to look at G12, you then closed it down and what you've got here is it does not know that you inserted a line. Let's just do this again. I'm going to close that, not save it. Delete this. So we're just getting back to our original picture. If both files are open, however, so now I'm going to go here, insert, put the engineer, and we'll make it 199 again. Notice that this is correct now, and the reason it's correct is because it's looking here. So what you'll realize is that when you have two linked workbooks, it is very important any structural changes, so inserting rows and columns, have to, they must be open. Or be very careful when you do that. It's very easy to make a mistake, as shown here, where you think it's looking at the structural engineer, but actually it's looking at the engineer.